I know most of my videos are about how you can make money or different streams of income. And I just have been dying to share our next project with you. And it's not going as fast as I wanted it to. So I just thought I would set, uh, do a video today about our dream and where we're at right now. Um, we have been in the rental business. We have a couple, well, we've had three or four rental of, um, dwellings um, that are like month to month. And we decided we didn't really like doing it that way. So we're getting into the short term rental business, which is like when you go rent a VRBO. So what we decided to do, we live out in the country and we thought we would go into the unique short-term rental business. And our first project, I'm gonna show you a picture in a moment. Well, let me show it to you and see if you can guess what we're doing, okay? This is a 27 foot diameter circle concrete, and this is the foundation of our first short-term rental. So what we're gonna be putting on here is, guess in the comments below before I tell you, I'll give you a couple minutes. What do you think? It's a unique rental. So it's not just gonna be a cottage or something like that. It actually is going to be a grain bin rental. And I'll show you some videos um, as I talk about it through here. But this is how far we've gotten so far. Um, it's We're waiting on the grain bin to get here. We decided not to get a used one. My husband felt like it might be better to get a new one since we are doing a new build and then it can kind of age with time on its own and it'll be all secure and, and leak proof and things like that. So we are very, very excited. We're waiting for the grain bin to come in and hopefully Hopefully this winter you will get to um, watch our progress as we put this together. My husband is in construction. He will probably do most of the work himself. Uh, he built our house. <laughs> so um, I'm really excited. Here's our mess. I'll give you a little view, but there's, um, we had an old barn, an old hay barn sitting here which my dream when I moved here was to turn it into like an education center or then at one time I thought well I'll turn it into like a um, an antique place but my husband um, ever I'm always the dreamer and he's always the practical one and he's like okay but we got to put a parking lot in and we got to put another driveway and I'm like oh, I don't want that up here so anyway we um, kind of went with um, we salvaged as much of the metal and the wood as we could here here are the bricks uh, all the blocking from the foundation so I'm sure my husband will think of something to do with that. We've got a pile of stuff that has to go to the um, dump, and then we're gonna burn that pile of wood. And back there in that shelter, there's um, barn wood that we've salvaged that's back there, and we'll use whatever we can inside the grain bin. So it's very exciting. And I, I wanna share something with you that I've also done differently just in the past couple of months. But I've been reading this book, Think and Grow Rich. Um, and it's down below. I'm sure a lot of you have read that before because it's been around probably over a hundred years. But I, I was really intrigued because I've always had a dream of things I wanted to do and I was never afraid to do it. But one of the parts that I never did was write down exactly what I expected my income to be from that project. And I just kind of took what came, if that makes sense. I don't know, maybe it doesn't because maybe you're more um, practical than I am. But what this taught me was is that you need to actually say, this is how much money I want to make a month or this is what I want to make a year. I'm doing mine by month. And then I broke it into pieces of where's that income coming from. And of course, we're doing these grain bin homes and our goal is to have seven of them because if you have seven or less you don't have to become incorporated and pay higher taxes so we're going to stick with something small because um, we're not trying to become millionaires we're just trying to have an income coming in as we go into our retirement and that's the plan but one of the things like I said I've done differently is I wrote it down specifically what we are going to do and how much income we expect to get from that. And then just keep looking at it over and over. And um, it's kind of like faith in, um, in yourself and your dream and you have that map to keep looking at and, and then it becomes a reality. So I have implemented that into my, um, into the whole um, scheme of things and I just wanted to share that with you. It's below. If any of you have read that book or you have actually applied those things that are in the book, share with us below because I'm, I'm very intrigued. I've never, I've never done that before and so let's see what happens, right? Um, all right, um, this is a short video. Like I said, I just wanted to share what we've been doing. Um, my husband and I actually just got done having the flu for like two weeks. So, I'm just getting back up and going. I had a, um, some of my videos were done ahead of time and this one was not. So I thought I would just take it easy today and just share our dream. And 
jump jump back into uh, full time and uh, I'll see you on that next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.